Magic puffy pens. Ooh, it's working. These are magic puffy pens by Uli. That's fun to say. Ooh la la, Uli li. So what are magic puffy pens? Well, at first glance, they just appear to be regular neon pens. There are six neon colors in here with a secret double identity. What? Add heat to make ink puff up like popcorn. I don't know how to do the, the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Can you do the thing? Who here can whistle with their fingers in their mouth? I can only go. <laughs> I purchased this set from Amazon. I'll leave a link below if you want to get your own pack to try. The very first time I saw these was actually just a few weeks ago when Bellamina posted a video about them. So thank you, Marissa, for the fun idea. I don't know how we're just learning about these now. They are copyright 2015. Bunny from Graveyard Girl tested the same pens as well as another brand. So I'm gonna make some art in here with these. Create this book by Mariah Elizabeth. I used this one for that challenge where it was create this book in one day and didn't actually finish it. So there's a ton of pages that are blank. Also, for you nosies, if you want to know what these books are, it's a huge stack of different reverse coloring books. I'm going to compare a few of these in an upcoming video and I'll tell you which one I think is the best. Actually, they're not all reverse coloring books. This is a little mushroom stress relief coloring book. The little mushies, they're so cute. Let's do it. And boom. Bum, 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 bum. Let's take them out. Ooh, it's a little bit squishy. And there is this little wax on the pen tip. Wax off. And we also have this instruction sheet here. Pretty easy step. Squeeze pen and apply ink evenly. Let's squeeze. Wait a minute. Uh, oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm squeezing, nothing's happening. It happened. Okay, cool. To me, this seems like really, really thick jelly roll ink. I'm gonna feel it. So we just have an abstract, really wonky looking lightning bolt because I messed it up. It says to let it dry, so I'll be right back. Okay, I have given it about five minutes. Let's hold this piece of paper down with a couple of painted rocks. <laughs> and then, hold on. I have enlisted a blow dryer. Apply high heat. It has cool, warm, and hot. I think I'm gonna go with hot right away. It's working already. It's not doing too much, but it's something. Cool. Okay. Look at this. Can you see the texture? Whoa, whoa. Let's see if it gets any puffier. This might be as puffy as it gets. Let's feel it. Ooh, it just feels foamy. I saw some people comment on Marissa's video that it reminds them of Silly String and I used to use that stuff so much. It really does feel like dried Silly String. Let's see if it peels off. I mean, yeah, if you really try, but that's a fair amount of effort, but you have to really try to scrape it off. Let's make an entire page full of this and make it really puff. I'm gonna use all six colors and see what I can come up with. It's gonna be kind of weird. <laughs> The page I decided on in Create This Book is Create Scenery. The very first thing I drew after holding the page down with all my painted rocks is a star. This is actually a rule. Challenge yourself seems like it should be starred. See, I came up with the rule, but it's still a rule. And I wanna incorporate the star into the design, so it's going to be a shooting star and have these long squiggly tail lines to create a black and white shooting road, kind of like Rainbow Road in the Mario Kart games. I'm using a Tombow brush marker to color in the two black stripes. 
And since the pages are white, I don't have to color in that middle one. Cool. I want the background to be pretty simple. So I'm just doing a light blue for this bottom part here. And then I'm bringing in the magic puffy pens. I love combining black and white with a lot of colors. As you can see from my background, the black and white wave is kind of one of my vibes. And also colorful paint drips. I've done those a lot, but I feel like in a fantasy scene that I would actually be able to visit, there would have to be paint drips there. It's a given. The paint drips are hanging from the road in a way that you can walk on top of the road and then you can climb down the little paint drips and at the bottom of every paint drip is a hammock. So it's kind of like a cocoon type thing. How relaxing would that be? Actually, I would probably be scared because heights are not really my thing. Are any of you afraid of heights legitimately? I don't know how much fun I would have in a hanging hammock but maybe there could be a cushy cloud at the bottom then that would be fine moving on to the upper half I'm using a light tan marker and I am creating the stripes diagonal going the opposite way from the blue ones as a kid Alice in Wonderland was one of my absolute favorite movies so it's no surprise that I drew a little inspiration from that and added a mushroom you can't have Wonderland without little tiny mushrooms these are mushroom houses so they're really big I mean, they are sitting on a giant robe that is hanging in the sky. Think of these as toadstool Airbnbs that you can go inside, get out onto the rooftop, and watch the sunset or whatever exists in this fantasy land. Lounge around, enjoy the fresh air, take a nap. And these are also really Smurf-like, which I was also obsessed with the Smurfs. Before making the puffy pens, puff up. We're going to add some extra 3D elements that are even more 3D than the puffy pens. This is going to be something I haven't seen anyone else do with a wreck this journal, create this book, draw your journal, any of the art journals. Basically I am creating an installation outside of the book to incorporate into the book if that makes sense. So there are going to be some extreme 3D areas that are around this page and fit into the scene to complete it. This air dry modeling clay is going to help me do that. It's called Delight and the reason that I'm using it honestly is because it was in a sandwich bag and starting to dry out so I really wanted to make use of it before that happened. I don't know what else I would have made a cloud with though. This stuff is a perfect consistency for creating a cloudy texture. So that's at the end of the black and white shooting star road, as you can see. And then I have these macaron cabuchons or half, what are they even called on the bag? Just resin pieces. And I stuck those into the cloud. Now, let's work on that little wood slice. Instead of using a blow dryer, which I did in the intro and the initial testing part, I'm going to use my heat gun. When I say this is hot, that is an understatement. It'll burn you ridiculously quickly. And that makes sense because you can see how quickly this puffed up. It also received some battle wounds in the form of burnt spots, so it looks like a toasted blue marshmallow. I'll fix that at the end, but for now I'm going to layer and layer and layer and layer these puffy pens until they form a rainbow pastel mountain. I'm doing one layer at a time, applying heat, and then repeating that same step over and over and over. And over. <laughs> The yellow looks like an egg yolk. Not too appealing until it puffs. Also, I know this texture probably isn't appealing to everyone. I know that because I did read some of Marissa's comments, as I mentioned, and it's kind of split between who thinks this is cool and who thinks this is nasty. So which one are you? As you can see, my wood slice cracked, luckily just in one spot and it's still usable so I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I have been watching The Last of Us on HBO Max and this texture reminds me of the clicker monsters. They are next level nasty. They are nastier than Kermie nasty. 
<laughs> who gets that reference it's so fun to watch this stuff bubble and rise and ooze and goose but yeah at the same time it is a bit unsettling it reminds me of goosebumps and monster blood and all that nasty <laughs> you nasty how many nasty references can we make here i'm not gonna lie the base of the mountain took such a long time and really 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 hurt my fingers and wrists from squeezing the pen ink because it's not actually as flowy as it may look well when trying to do a large area anyway i was worried that i was going to use up the blue and the green pens by making that much of an area of a pool of ink but i didn't even use half of the ink in both of those pens by the end of this once i got to the top it was going by so so quickly which was wonderful But as you can see, it really dried out a lot and got some burn marks all over. So in order to fluff this up and make it a little bit more fresh, I applied ink around basically the entire thing, any area that I thought was too flat and too burnt. And then, here goes. looks so much fluffier now definitely a huge improvement putting this aside for a moment let's go ahead and fluff up the mushrooms After heating the initial layer of both little mushrooms, I went in with some dots and spots. And these got a little bit out of control. They kind of look like brains. But anyway, moving on to the paint drips. I probably could have added another layer to those, but I didn't want them to lose their shape. So let's bring the entire scene together. Add in the mountain and the macaron cloud. Oh my gosh. So this in itself is enough to just be the most fun fantasy land ever. But then I thought that the black part was a little bit too boring. So I brought in these half pearls. Imagine being in a land where you could have life-size giant pearls and rhinestones that you could climb on that you could do i don't know they're just they're so pretty to look at since i added these i didn't add anything to the tan or the blue areas i thought that they should just remain simplistic so everything else pops and stands out more so this is my fantasy land and i think it would be so much fun if this really existed in real life kind of as an installation piece sink other world or some sort of installation instagram museum or something of that sort by the way if you haven't seen my create this book series or my reverse coloring book series i will link those in the description box below and in the icard up in the corner thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon in my next video bye <laughs> 3D popcorn effect. Pop, 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 pop. The ink looks like a lava lamp.